I'm going to quickly show you guys what I got for Christmas, at least from my family, um, because I did show you some of the things that I got from friends. Holly, <laughs> seriously, baby, come on, get off, babies, get off, get your toy, give me this toy, go get it. Okay, so Christina and Rick got me this shirt that says Dog Mom. Well, let me let it focus, which is really cute, um, which I plan to sleep in as well as this one that says not today with like a snore and doggy. And then these really soft PJs were from Mama B and my dad. I cannot wait to sleep in these. They just feel like the softest blanket. Why are you begging mommy? Hmm? What, honey? What do you want? You want mommy to throw the toy? You want this ones? <gasps> I got these amazing Russian little dolls. Aren't they so pretty to put on our tree next year from Natalia, who's Haley's mom. And she also gave us some of these liqueur chocolates. I've never had these, but they seem yummy. <laughs> you guessed it. <laughs> Holly brought me another toy. All right, these are the other items I received. Um, so my mom got me some of these Turby twists for my hair. You can wrap your hair up in this um, to let it dry and not use as much heat. And I love these. So you got me two of those. And then this kind of just wraps around your hair, like almost like a big scrunchie, but to kind of secure back your hair um, when you're washing your hair. So she got me one of those two. And then um, Brian and Haley got me this snowball microphone for filming videos when I do the voiceover work so you guys will hear better quality when I do the home tours which I'm so excited about and then they also gave me this Chanel coffee table book which I can't wait to look through and then this mug isn't it so pretty it's honeybee themed plus it's pink I mean pretty perfect my dad got me 1.6 terabyte hard drives which that maybe doesn't sound exciting to most people, but that is so awesome because now I can store everything on these hard drives off of my laptop and I don't have to worry about the space element. Um, if you don't know, my dad is an engineer, so <laughs> he's always going to give me really practical, awesome presents like that, and I'm very thankful. And speaking of awesome presents from him, he also got me this little... I don't even want to, I don't want to say it's a car seat, but it's kind of a, a doggy car seat that you secure, um, uh, in, on your chair, like next to you and keeps them obviously safe. And I think that you can kind of like secure them in here so they don't jump out. I will let you know once I start using it. And then Brian and Haley also got me Mancala, Mancala, and I used to play this game with my brother all the time when I was younger. Um, a friend of mine had got me a set, and I think I was in fourth grade when I first played it. It's a really fun game, and so he saw this and said, okay, I have to get this just for like nostalgia, and I love that. And then Rick and Christina got me this little gift set for the car so there's yeah. like a couple different things for your car it's pretty cool and then they also got me this sparkly rose gold wallet really pretty and cute and then my mom for like a stocking stuffer she got us i say us because me and Haley both got this um a spa rific laser etched glass mani and petty set holly seriously <laughs> right up in my grill girl <laughs> I love you, baby. Hold on. We also got this beautiful cutting board um, from Crate and Barrel, and it actually matches the wine holder that my sister sent me. So how perfect is that? I can't wait to use this next Christmas. So thank you so much to Brian and Jackie. Um, this is their sweet card, too. And then, finally... These little babies came in a little late. They actually got lost somewhere in transit and they resent me them, no questions asked though. So I was very thankful for that from Bath and Body Works. So I've got some black cherry Merlot, gingerbread marshmallow, I have two of those, and sugared snickerdoodle. They're just like a vanilla spice kind of smell. I like these for um, to fill the house with that kind of scent. And we have peppermint sugar cookie, twisted peppermint, and, and tis the season. So I think I'm going to do the tis the season ones around the house right now since we're kind of closing out Christmas right now, but I still like these kind of scents and then I'll probably transition into these and then this, but I love having these all around the house. It makes the house smell so good. 
So I haven't done any makeup yet and I don't know if I'm going to, to be honest. It might just be a little powder because we are going to go to the Butterfly Pavilion and because um, me and Chris have off today. I just touched up my hair a little bit, put this little pearl headband on and then this dress, it's so cozy and comfortable. It has like little balloon sleeves. It's by the brand Amortu. Amortu. It's the same brand that I have that other really cute baby doll dress from that I have in like every color. Well, now I have this cute one with the little buttons and it has like a little bit of like kind of a ruffle detail on the bottom here, just slightly. I don't know if you can see that. And then I am wearing leggings and I'm gonna wear boots too um, so that I can walk okay because my toe is still broken, but it's on like nearing the end of me having to um, wear the same shoes all the time. I forgot to show you guys, these are the boots I'm wearing with the crisscross design. I got Michael Kors glasses. Solved my problem. I'm lagging. <laughs> he knew that. Um, I was saying that my sunglasses solved the problem of the no makeup. It's still pretty without makeup. You Thank you, baby. And I put butterfly earrings on. And my grandma's ring. Because I felt like I needed to bring her with me on this because we always talked about butterflies. She loved butterflies. And she said that she would say hi to us as butterfly. We always look for our yellow butterflies, me and my mom. So I feel like I'm taking her on this adventure with me. We went to Chick-fil-A. Oh yeah. I got fries and chicken little nuggies. Apparently, Chris's new name is Grace. Not funny. <laughs> I thought it was. Butterflies that you see flying around there emerged this morning. Butterfly Wonderland buys chrysalises from butterfly farmers all around the world. Places like Costa Rica. Kenya, Florida, Madagascar. They arrive in a box once a week from Denver. Staff starts the names them up, and then we wait to see which ones emerge. For your awareness, um, all the Christmas is hanging up there. We're in the rainforest, probably about seven days ago. Wow, that's so cool. So you'll notice. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see them, but they're flying all around. This is so cool. This just happened. What? Love you, babe. Love you too. Mega, mega, mega Christmas present from Chris. He said he didn't want to do it before Christmas. He wanted me to pick out the color and like size and everything I wanted. And since my laptop's been messing up, I just we just decided to do it today. So I'm so excited. So satisfying. No. <laughs> 
Oh, cool. She's so pretty. I love the rose gold. This is why I love having Mac products. They're just talking to each other right now and transferring all my data over to the new computer. Super cool. Happy Wednesday and it's actually my Friday. Woohoo! Um, because we are not working Thursday or Friday this week. I just washed my hair today and pinned it up a little bit. I feel like it's overly curly, you know, like the first day it's crazy curly. <laughs> and then I have these little Anna Luis earrings, Luisa, Anna Luisa, I think earrings on. Um, and then I have a dress again from that Amora 2 company that I just love this baby doll dress. I have it in green, navy blue, red, and then like a pattern. It's so comfy and I love it. Okay. The doctor just got here, so I got to get going. Can you guys see that? We have another rainbow right above our house and it almost goes all the way around. Do you see that? It's about to rain again, actually. I'm getting drizzled on. I went to my P.O. box today and I just had to say a big thank you to Elizabeth, Rally, and Jill. You guys are awesome. I really appreciate you so much and you left me beautiful messages. And Jill and Rally, you guys both have been like ride or die sisterhood from almost the beginning of time since I've been doing YouTube. So I'm so appreciative of you. And look how cute, um, I'll say it says Elizabeth on the top there, but I think she goes by Yvette. Um, but she sent me this really cute little cozy and I can't wait to use that next year. It's so cute. And I loved all the cards. So thank you guys so much. You're saying thank you also, my baby? You wanna go play? Yeah? Oh, what? Oh, what? What do you think mommy's got, huh? Hmm? So I just put this in the oven that Mama Bee made, which I'm very, very thankful for. Shepherd's pie? I've never even had shepherd's pie. If if you guys want me to do like a cooking in the hive with her on this, let me know. But um, it smells amazing, so I can't imagine that it's not going to taste amazing. Also, I'm going to be making my dad's birthday cake. Um, it's my... The bunt cake that I won a blue ribbon at the state fair for. Pretty proud of it. So uh, it's a very simple recipe, though, if I'm going to be honest. Um, the true trick is making sure you take it out at the right time in the oven. So I'm going to make this either today or tomorrow, and I will share it with you then. Totally forgot to film, but I'm making my dad's birthday cake. And I told you guys I made this cake for a contest at the state fair one a blue ribbon once um it's a very simple recipe though and the specific con contest i was in was just using a pillsbury box of cake mix and Jared, some kind of ghirardelli chocolate involved in the recipe and those those were the only two requirements at the time it was like a pillsbury competition so i did use a pillsbury cake mix this time i'm using duncan hines it doesn't matter but i like to use the devil's food or just like a rich chocolate cake mix you're also going to need a box of the chocolate fudge jello pudding mix i like to use the ghirardelli milk chocolate chips you are going to use about a fourth of a cup to a half a cup more like half the bag whatever um because you do drizzle a little chocolate on the top later too so you'll use a lot of those um i use a bunt pan you can use like regular cake pans obviously you're gonna have to adjust the recipe time um in the oven but yeah also there is about a fourth of a cup of peanut butter just like two heaping tablespoons um four eggs half a cup of water half a cup of vegetable oil of course you can substitute the vegetable oil for something else if that's what you would like um, and I think that's it. If I'm missing something, I'll make sure to include that right here. You're also going to set the oven to 325 and I will let you know how long it ends up taking in the oven with my oven. Um, it just kind of depends. So let's get this baby in the oven. And then I drizzled peanut butter and melted chocolate. Lots of it. Clearly I haven't taken the entire pan out yet cause it's cooling, but it smells so good. Thank you. 
taco salad night. I'll say the taco meat too. Oh yeah. Getting ready to decorate some gingerbread houses because we didn't get to last week. So we're just making fun houses today. And they all came out unbroken. I'm so happy. <laughs> and these are all the goodies. shrimps already made and mama's Mom. making the alfredo sauce and i just tasted a little bit of it and it's bomb and then we got the water boiling for the fettuccine noodles yeah so yeah happy shrimp. new year happy new year shrimp fettuccine yeah. Netflix is judging us again. Are you still watching Cobra Kai? Yes, we're still watching Cobra Kai, okay? We're only on episode four. It's not even that big of a binge watch yet. <laughs> Typical.